This is the line following garbage collector robot prototype used for mobile waste disposal. There are two sources of power used to make this project's movement possible. A 12 volt source located on these terminals and a 24 volt source located on these terminals. And on this terminal is ground. These terminals were added for easy VCC and ground connection. The higher 24 volt source of power is used to provide the stepper motors with enough force to horizontally squeeze a refuse can and release it once above the onboard trash receptacle. While the 12 volt source is responsible to provide power to the DC motors underneath the chassis used for traveling and the DC motors connected to the platform pulleys on the arms, which are here and here. The Pololu G2 high power motor shields are located here, here, and here. And they are used to drive the DC motors that propel the chassis and lift the arms vertically. The Gecko 251 stepper motor drivers, which are located here and here, are used to, to drive the stepper motors that provide the horizontal movement used for squeezing the, the refuse cans. And they use timing belts here and here for three to one gear reduction for better grip and strength to, the can to squeeze objects. The platforms that hold the stepper motors are made from Delrin machinable plastics located here and they use taper roller bearings underneath the pulley platforms that hold the lifting motors in order to sustain the weight being lifted by the arms. Located here and under here. The, the aluminum plate beneath the Delrin platforms is one quarter inch thick milled steel. I mean aluminum. Sorry. The front of the chassis uses an ultrasonic sensor and infrared sensors to guide the chassis on a track until a can or refuse is detected at the proper distance for the arms to complete a can retrieval maneuver. Arduino that powers the algorithms to make this possible is powered by two separate lithium ion batteries connected to a buck step down converter here and here.